welcome to our Brazilian cooking class. At this unit, we'll talk about a very important notice, the food and ingredient. Today, we'll talk about tapioca. But what is tapioca? Tapioca is a flour extracted from cassava root, Maniota sculeta, in Latin. Also called goma de tapioca, beiju, goma seca, polvilho and polvilho doce. This species is native from the north region of Brazil, but spread throughout the South American continent. In Brazil, cassava is called mandioca. The word derived from the word tapioca. It's a name from the Tupi language spoken by natives when the Portuguese people first arrived in the northeast part of Brazil. It refers to the process by which the cassava flour is made edible as a food and wood were taken to other world regions. Tapioca was applied to similar food preparations. History and culture. The plant was carried by Portuguese and Spanish explorers to most of the West Indies and continents of Africa and Asia, including the Philippines and Taiwan. It's now cultivated worldwide. The cassava root is known by different names throughout the country. Mandioca in the north, central west in São Paulo, tapioca or macaxeira in the northeast, aipim in the southeast, especially in Rio de Janeiro, and also tapioca received the title of Intangible Heritage and Cultural of Olinda City in 2006 by UNESCO. Use. In Brazilian cuisine, tapioca is used for different types of meals. In beiju or bijou, the tapioca is mostly straightened through a sieve to become coarse flour, and then is sprinkled on top end. The heat makes the flour grains fuse into a flat bread, which resembles a grain pancake. It may be buttered and eaten as toast, or may be filled or topped with either salted or sweet ingredients. You can prepare different kinds of tapioca and serve it as a breakfast, dinner or dessert. It's most common as a breakfast dish. There are many varieties of fillings for your tapioca, such as butter, cheese, ham, bacon and many kinds of meat, chocolate, fruits, condensed milk, caramel and honey. Also chocolate with sliced pieces of banana or strawberries and many other tastes that you can create. For our demonstration class, we are using ground coconut, cheese and butter. Tapioca is usually served warmly. It's better if you prepare it at the same moment you want to eat. Be creative! And let's cook! For this recipe of coconut and cheese tapioca, you need 250 grams of tapioca flour, 125 grams of fresh white cheese, 125 grams of ground coconut, 50 grams of butter, a 20 cm size pan to cook. Preparation Crumble the tapioca flour with your hands, pass through a sieve and add a little salt. In a pan, spread the flour and model the tapioca as a pancake. The key point is to let the pan get hot before placing the tapioca. The tapioca cooks quite fast, so be careful. You will see the butters starting to rise up from the bottom of the pan. Basically, you have to dry the tapioca in the pan, not fry it. You should flip it over for a few seconds and it's red if you just want to put butter and have a delicious and nutritious meal. Otherwise, this is the moment to add whatever fillings you want. Here, we will add butter, ground coconut and fresh white cheese. You put filling on half of the surface of tapioca, fold it over and just wait for the cheese to melt. Split the butter of one of the sides, then place the tapioca on the dish and sear immediately. Nutritional values. Tapioca predominantly consists of carbohydrates. Each cup of tapioca contains 23 and 9 grams for a total of 105 calories. It's low in saturated fat, protein and sodium. Also, 
it has no significant essential vitamins or dietary minerals. One serving of tapioca pudding contains no dietary, a small amount of oleic acid and no omega-3 or omega-6 fat acids. For more information, see and download the tapioca infographic. See you next class. And let's cook! Tips As we have mentioned before, tapioca can be salted and sweet. If you decided to do a salted version, just add some salt to the tapioca flour. If you decide for a sweet version, you don't need to add anything. You can fill the tapioca with dried meat, chicken, cheese, egg, ham, or with butter for the salted version. For the sweet version, you can add jam, chocolate, caramel, honey, banana, coconut, and whatever you want. There are many possibilities fillings for your tapioca. Just use your imagination. Let's cook! And here is the sweet version. Other use. Tapioca is a staple food in many world regions. Tapioca is used as a thickening agent in various foods such as sagu, cheese bread, cakes, biscuits, soups, pudding, and many others that you will find in our course. A regional dessert called sagu is also made in South Brazil from tapioca pears cooked with cinnamon and cloves in red wine. The fine grain tapioca flour is called polvilho and it's classified as sweet and sour. Sour polvilho is commonly used in dishes such as cheese bread in each the flour is mixed with a certain type of cheese similar to parmesan, eggs and butter and bake in the oven. The final result is an aromatic and elastic kind of bread that you can find across the country. Sour tapioca flour is also mixed into mashed beans to make the dish called tutu de feijão. The pudding and cake made with tapioca are not cooked on fire. It's served cold, natural or with a tropical fruit syrup. See other recipes in our site.